Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Happy May! I cannot believe that it is already May. This year just seems to be flying by. I got myself some tulips from the store the other day and I am just loving spring so much. I love having fresh flowers around. It is the best. I was thinking I was going to do a weekend vlog, but actually I think we're going to do a little bit more of a focused vlog this weekend. I have two main things that I want to do. I want to do a mail time with you guys because I have several packages I need to open. And then, and then I want to do some plant stuff, which we will do after we open the mail. So I figured we could just kind of jump on in and see how things go. Um, I have two packages from Stitch Fix, a package from Tarte, and a package from um, Cinema Secrets. And then I have two different plants, um, this random Bonnie Plants catnip grow kit that James and I bought at Home Depot a couple weeks ago. So I want to get this going. And then also, my plant thing that I got in my spring fabfit fun. I want to go ahead and get this going with the basil seeds that I received. So we will set that up as well. Let's start mail time. I'm super excited for my packages. Um, I think let's start with Tarte and Cinema Secrets. So these are both makeup. So um, Tarte was having this spring sale a week or two ago whenever I ordered this and they had a great deals on their mascara and eyeliner so um, let's see I don't even remember everything I got honestly all right let's see here so I got Oh, the Man Eater Mascara and the Man Eater Self Sharpening Eyeliner. I also got another thing of their Big Ego Mascara. I really like this one a lot. Um, I think the Big Ego has been my favorite Tarte mascara so far, but I just found out that the Man Eater is waterproof. So, that seemed necessary going into summer. Um, I also got... Oh, that's right. I remember. So this says, Happy Birthday, Tartlet. So my birthday was many, many months ago, but I had a birthday gift just waiting to be claimed in my cart or in my rewards. So I got that. And it's a blush and a mini mascara. So it's the um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which I've used a few times and I do like this one as well. And then also a little Tarte Rewards blush. Hmm. And that's a nice shade for me that will work well and I'm actually getting low on my blush. So, perfect timing. Then, oh, I totally forgot that I got these. These are called Awake Pore Appeal Texture and Pore Refining Pads. I just saw them and was like, you know, I do like getting the little facial, facial pads, facial pads, facial pads. <laughs> and so I got them. Like I said, everything was on sale. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, look, it even comes with like little tweezers to take them out with. Alright, let's go ahead and open this all the way. Okay, these little tweezers don't work that well. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is. Mmm, it smells good too. Very cool. I didn't even know they had these until I saw them on the sale and was like, yep, gonna give those a try. Okay. 
Okay, and then I got, oh, they always send you a sample, and so I chose to sample their Cleanse AHA and BHA cleanser. And so I got a little sample of that. And then, oh, that's right, I also got this Eco Chic reusable cloth. So I like to use um, the company, the original makeup eraser cloths to take my makeup off. And I kind of figure you can never have enough of them. So when I saw that Tarte had one, I figured I had to give it a try. It feels just as soft as the makeup eraser. Cool. So I think that is everything I got from Tarte. I'm gonna be really interested to see how this makeup eraser does against my original one. I'm really excited to give these a try. And then all of my goodies here. I did wanna look at this eyeliner really quick. Oh, ah, there we go. It twists off, not pops off. Why is this so hard? Oh, there we go. So, that looks like a good... That top's gonna get a little... It's gonna take me a little while to get used to having to twist it on. Very weird. But, it looks like a good eyeliner. Okay, those were my goodies from Tarte. And then I got this from Cinema Secrets. And this, I hope I'm gonna just rip the whole bag. There we go. Okay, so this is, wow. For the third time, this is a color corrector from Cinema Secrets. It's the ultimate foundation corrector, it says. And I got this to try to use under my eyes. Um, I got this recommended to me by a friend that is a makeup artist. Um, I had put a thing out on Facebook asking for somebody to give me some help with how to cover my under eye circles. And this was recommended by her. Um, it is the 605-61 light blue collector, and corrector, not collector. And you're supposed to put it under your eyes and then put your concealer on top of it and that's supposed to better cover under your eyes. So I will link her stuff down below. She's got a YouTube channel and an Instagram because she is really great with makeup if you're interested. Okay, now for my Stitch Fix packages. So these packages are not part of like the regular Stitch Fix. These are um, things I got from Stitch Fix Shopper. It's easier apparently just to rip it. So with the Shopper, you can purchase a couple different ways. You can buy things again that you've already purchased from your boxes, um, like in a different color or something. You can also um, shop customized looks for you, or you can just now, they're doing a new beta with categories where you can just sort and buy things. So that is what I did with both of these, was just using their beta shopper to buy some new stuff. I am super excited to see what they look like in person. Okay, so these first ones are a pair of shoes. They are by Market and Spruce, and they are the Irene Strappy Sandal in size 9, and I got the color Cognac. Oh, I don't think these are the ones that I meant that I purchased. Did they send me the wrong thing?
I think they might have sent me the wrong sandals. These actually do look pretty cute. Um, however, I'm fairly certain these are not the ones that I purchased. So, the one really good thing about Stitch Fix is that they always do free returns. Okay, let's look at my Stitch Fix app and see really quick because I'm super confused. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. These were the sandals that I tried to purchase. Not that it's focusing on there. I'm super confused. Also, I ordered them in a 9.5. Not a 9. Man, that is so weird. Okay, so this is just the second time that I've had um, some sort of mix-up from Stitch Fix. One time in one of my boxes, they sent me the completely wrong size sandal. And then now this. So, I guess I'm going to have to decide if I want to keep these or get the ones that I actually tried to order. And let's go ahead and just look at the other thing that I ordered though and make sure that I got the right thing. Okay, so my camera died earlier and I'm not 100% sure where I was at, but I know I was getting to the pants. The pants do look like they sent me the right ones. So these are by Violets and Roses and they're the Phoenix High Rise Pont, Ponte, P-O-N-T-E pant. Not sure how you say that. I've been trying to find some more pants for work, so that was why I got these. Um, they've got a little bit of pleats in the front, which will be, I'll have to see how those look on. They've got a faux like zipper, um, and then in the back they've got two faux pockets. And they're kind of a stretchy, like almost spandexy material, but then they're designed to be like slacks essentially. And then obviously just in the color black. So hopefully these will be great for my new, uh, for a new addition to my work wardrobe, but I will have to try them on first to see for sure. And yeah, then the shoes, I did double check that these weren't the ones I ordered, so I took pictures and I'm going to send them into Stitch Fix, but they are kind of cute. I do kind of like them and I would potentially wear them. so. I am a little bummed I didn't get my other ones though. So I'll just have to decide what I think of those. It's so weird that they did that though. Hmm. I've gotten a lot of stuff from Stitch Fix and so I don't know if it's good or bad that I've had two issues. I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and do some plant stuff though because I'm super excited. Um, I think I need to like scooch a little bit. New angle. There's some flowers. <laughs> okay, so as I mentioned, we've got the Catnip Grow Kit, and then the thing that I got from Fat Fun. And so this is the LED Indoor Planter by Short Stories. And I managed to get out here without the instructions for that, so we'll come back to that one. We'll start. Let's start with the um, catnip kit. In the springtime, I just love getting um, to do plant stuff. It's just way too fun. So let's see. Seems pretty straightforward. <laughs> Looks like we've got our catnip seeds in here. And I think the instructions are right on here. Fill the planter with the grow growing medium included. Carefully sprinkle the seeds over the surface of the growing medium and lightly press, do not bury. Gently water and place in a sunny location. Keep the growing medium moist but not wet. And that's it. Okay. I think I need to put something down so I don't get dirt all over my table. I'll be right back. Okay. Luckily, I've got lots of paper bags that I can lay down. Oh. 
I was just about to say how this is like probably the easiest thing just to like get these little growing kits and then you know I'm spilling dirt everywhere so apparently it's not that bad. They don't give you a ton of dirt. Um, it doesn't, like, it's not very deep. It's not very full. But I guess then the catnip would, like, grow up out. What did you say? Okay, well, it says to just uh, put the seeds right on top and lightly press and then lightly water so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Alright. I guess that's all we do for that so it was a lot more simple than I thought it was gonna be. I don't really know what I was expecting but All right, now this one on the other hand, not that this is gonna be much more complex because again, you just put the dirt in and the seeds, but I am gonna just double check really quick. Yeah, super straightforward. Put in the dirt, put in the seeds per their instructions, plug it in, which if you wanna see what it looks like, and go from there. Surprise me, those are very bright. Wow! Okay, that is super neat. Okay, so I got this uh, seed starting potting mix from Miracle Grow, and it's especially formulated for fast root development. And it says it's excellent for starting cuttings. Not that these are cuttings, but cool. Well, I don't think there's any way around they get any dirt under my nails, so I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, well, I guess that is it for now. I opened up all my stuff and I did a couple plants with you. I feel like the planting was a lot more anticlimactic climactic than I thought it was going to be. So, maybe I'll check back in with you guys later for a little bit, hopefully something a little bit more interesting. Okay, I thought of a couple more things to do before we end the vlog that will hopefully make this video a little more entertaining. <laughs> so first of all, I have an update on my big Mr. Spidey for you. So um, a while back he was not looking too good and I gave him the Osmico Pot Shots fertilizer and he is doing it so much better. He's huge, actually. He's kind of taken off. Um, I don't have any more like offshoots right now for babies. However, you can tell he is just doing great. I had also planted a little baby one in here, and it looks like he has taken off really good as well. So, Mr. Spidey, 
is doing good. The Osmocote pot shots definitely helped bring him back to life. Okay, so that, oh. now where to put him out of the way. So that was my update on Mr. Spidey. And then I also wanted to show you how baby Spidey was doing. Baby Spidey is doing awesome, except for the parts where my cat likes to chew on him. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so um, ever since I propagated baby Spidey, he's just been in this little guy. However, I think I should go ahead and fill this up and move him into a full planter now instead of just the little half one. Oh yeah, he was definitely ready to be moved over. Okay, I got baby Spidey repotted into this one, and hopefully he is able to do well in here. He's kind of looking a little sad right now. Maybe I need to put a little bit more dirt in there. What do you guys think? Okay. Okay. <laughs> a little crowded over here. The last thing I was going to show you is it my china tree, I think china doll tree. So I got this um, from the grocery store a while back and he's had some ups and downs but I can see that he's starting to grow some new leaves. I had also given him an Osmico pot shop but I don't know that there's enough dirt like on the top here so I was thinking that I would just give them a little bit extra as well since that's what we're doing anyways today. Here we go. You guys have probably seen this guy in some of my recent videos in my background because I've had him in the other room um, trying to revive him a little bit because he's still kind of on the cusp. But he definitely looks like he's doing better. Okay. So I guess that was a kind of random vlog where we did a mail time, we did some plant stuff, and I think that was all I had for you guys. So um, let me know what you thought of this video. Was it a little too random? Did you like the different stuff? Have any advice for me with my plants? I would love to hear it all. And otherwise, I will talk to you guys again soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.